showing you how to make these two gorgeous and delicious iced tea. Very nutritious, lots of good antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties. These are made with fresh herbs from my garden. One is a simple basil and broadleaf thyme. And this one is a lemongrass, three different types of mint, as well as ginger. They're so refreshing. Mm. Wow, incredibly delicious. Let's get started. Welcome to Juliet Kitchen. My name is Yasmin. Before we get started, if you're new here to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it and click the bell for notification whenever I upload a new video. And of course, welcome back to my returning subscribers. People, the first tea is going to be the basil with thyme. It's going to be amazing. All you need is the basil, thyme, if you don't have these broadly, you could use English thyme, lemon thyme, any thyme that you have, um, as well as the basil. You could use holy basil, you could use lemon basil, any type of basil work. And I specifically like to use the Monica honey to sweeten it, uh, but you could use any type of sweetener that you to like. Get started, I'm heating up here. I'm going to bring to a boil. Uh, this is 44 ounces of filtered uh, water. And I love to use my uh, Breville uh, teapot to, uh, to get this done. It has a boiling uh, feature on here. It also has a filter basket. So if you basket, I should say. So if you're making green tea, you could put the uh, green tea or any other dry herbal teas that you're making. I usually put in the basket so it's nice and easy. And Okay, so while my water is coming to a boil, all I want to do, I'm using the stem as well. These are uh, soft stems. I'm going to rip these a little bit, get more of the um, essence out of the herbs. I would say this is roughly about two cups of basil, and these are sweet basil, and my two broadleaf or Cuban thyme. And give it a nice earthy flavor. There's so much nutrients in this. And then here's my boiling water. I'm going to carefully pour the water in. I'm just going to press it down. And I'm going to let this steep for, I would say, 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, for this next tea, I'm going to be using my beautiful, freshly picked lemongrass. And then I'm also using my collection of beautiful spearmint, peppermint, and chocolate mint, and a piece of organic ginger. So I'm just going to roughly chop this up. I would say this is about a quarter cup. Oh, wow. I got that right. That's quarter cup. Look at that. How cool is that? The mint I'm going to add in after I boil these or simmer the uh, lemongrass. And then I also now want to chop up my ginger. No need to peel it, just rinse it well. You could also grate it if you want a stronger flavor. The amount, I would say this is another quarter cup of ginger. So I'm going to get all of this in my pot of water here. Uh, this is about seven cups of uh, water that I'm using, and I want to get the ginger in here. By the time it finishes simmering, it's going to be probably about six cups. Add in my beautiful lemongrass, bring it to a boil, and then let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Should work well. Both of these teas are rich in antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Lemongrass and ginger has been simmering for the last uh, 15 minutes. You can go up to 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And now what I really want to do is uh, turn off the stove and I'm going to add in my mint leaves. Say so this is a good half a cup of uh, mint leaves packed. Some of the soft stems are good. It's a lot of nutrients in the stems. And then I'm just going to rip these. 
And I'm gonna let that sit for about five minutes. Okay, the basil and thyme has been uh, steeping for, uh, I would say 30 minutes I left it in for. I wanna press all that beautiful herbaceous flavor into the liquid. I like to use a little bit of sweetening here and I'm using specifically Monica honey but you could use raw honey, you could use wildflower honey, sometimes I use that. You could use maple syrup or whatever type of sweetener you prefer. I'm gonna go in with one, two teaspoons. Not too sweet. And this, you could sip it really warm or you could also do it on iced tea. Okay, the lemongrass, ginger, and mint has been steeping for another five minutes. So it's time for me to strain it. Hopefully I have a large enough jug here. It's done carefully. You could do it over the sink. Oops, there we go. There we go, that's better, that's better. Wow, that is delicious. A beautiful, the chocolate mint really stands out. Add one, two. I always like to start with two teaspoons of honey. Wow, that is perfect. Now you could sip this hot or you could cool it down and drink it as an iced tea. It's so delicious. Besides the antioxidant, anti-inflammatory properties, these teas are great for gut health. Wow, I decided to pour myself a cup of the very warm lemongrass tea. The smell is amazing. Wow. Get that nice bit of, I think the chocolate mint made a really beautiful difference in the recipe you could taste a little bit of uh, ginger it looked like a lot of ginger to start but it isn't it worked really well with the lemongrass and the lemongrass isn't the flavor isn't overpowering wow cheers wow the basil tea has cooled down and I put it on ice and time to taste. Wow, it is so refreshing. A nice hint of the thyme uh, and that broadleaf thyme works perfectly and the sweet basil works just as good. Wow, this is so refreshing. I hope you give this one a try. This is the lemongrass with ginger and mint. Time for that cold iced tea. It sure tasted really good warm. The ginger is not too overpowering. This is so refreshing and so healthy. And I'm telling you, the fresh lemongrass is a game changer. So refreshing and so healthy. I hope you give this one a try as well. See you for the next video.